Thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Wednesday, June 24th. Seeing some mostly sunny skies out there, and we'll continue to see that today. Going to see those temperatures warm up into the upper 80s across Wallops, and maybe even seeing some low 90s across more interior, warmer portions of the Delmarva. And we'll see a chance of some showers and possibly a thunderstorm return tomorrow before we really start to see things warm up even more to end the work week. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, we did see a weak front that really just didn't produce anything except for um, a brief uptake in cloudiness this morning. That helped shift those winds uh, from the southwest to the northwest, and that northwesterly flow is going to help to usher in a little bit more of a warmer, drier air mass today. And we will see those temperatures, like I said, get into the upper 80s across wallops. And then we're going to see another system moving in tomorrow, which is starting to form a down in the deep south, and that will continue to move northeastward towards our area, giving us a chance for some showers tomorrow. Let's take a quick look at our satellite loop uh, this morning, which is loading, so we will get back to that. Taking a look at our upper-level winds, though, we are seeing those winds uh, northwesterly at the surface around 20 knots, up through about 6,000 feet, where they shift more westerly, only running around 15 to 20 knots through 9,000 feet. Then we're seeing them run about... 30 to 35 knots from the west-southwest from 12,000 feet up through about 25,000 feet, seeing our freezing level this morning at 15,000 feet. Here's our satellite loop this morning. We did see a little bit more clouds earlier uh, just before sunrise. Those had since moved offshore and have uh, really decreased in coverage. We are seeing a little uh, patch of some clouds near 10,000 feet moving over the area as we speak, but uh, that is deep dissipating as well. We're just going to be mainly seeing some uh, shallow cumulus clouds today as well as some, some upper level cirrus so, uh, for a mostly sunny day and it is going to be warm out there but not too humid. So taking a look at our forecast for today, expect a high of 87 this afternoon. Northwesterly winds will continue around 9 to 14 knots and slightly gusty throughout the rest of the morning hours then weakening a tad as we go into the afternoon. As we get towards Sunset, we'll see those winds continue to weaken, becoming southwesterly at 4 to 9 knots by sunset, then southerly at 4 to 9 knots uh, between about 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. Then those winds are really going to weaken, becoming uh, fairly light and variable after 4 a.m. We are going to be seeing a low tomorrow of 69 degrees. And then we are going to be seeing, like I said, the next system approach the area, just expecting a slight chance of showers after 6 a.m. And then uh, we'll see shower chances Continue as we go through the morning hours tomorrow. We we'll may be seeing a little bit of an uptick as we go towards tomorrow afternoon with a slight chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon as well. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, we're seeing just a few clouds near 5,000 feet, a few at 10,000, scattered at 25,000. That mid-level clouds uh, is going to be dissipating here in the next hour or so. Really just going to be seeing a few at four to 5,000 feet uh, with some scattered to broken cirrus clouds throughout the afternoon today. As we go into tonight, we'll see those clouds uh, increase a bit around 6,500 feet as our next system approaches with continued upper level cirrus. And as we go into tomorrow, seeing a possibility of uh, scattered at 10,000, scattered at 1,000 feet, broken at 500, overcast at 10,000 if we get any shower activity. We are seeing tides normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. Let's take a look at our long-term model to show you how our weather pattern is going to progress. This is this afternoon and then going into tonight. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow and we'll start to see this uh, front take a better shape and possibly clip uh, the southern third of the Del Mar, bringing that chance of showers you saw on our previous forecast. Those chances of showers uh, will continue throughout the rest of the day, possibly seeing an afternoon uh, thunderstorm, but not seeing, not, not too likely, only running around a 15% chance uh, to, for that, and then seeing those thunderstorm chances, or shower chances, mainly uh, in the morning and into the early afternoon. Let's go on to Friday. We're going to see things uh, really dry out, but uh, we're going to get some good uh, westerly to southwesterly flow. That's going to help to warm things up as we go into Friday and into the weekends. Uh, as we go into our Saturday, we're going to see a front slowly approach the area. It's going to be over the uh, Ohio Valley and across the uh, New York and Pennsylvania, and we'll get that good west to southwesterly flow ahead of that. That's really going to bump up our temperatures and slowly increase our humidity as we go into Saturday, not expecting any showers or storms, just a, a very warm day. Temperatures will be in the 90s across the region. 
As we go into Sunday, we'll continue to see temperatures in the 90s as the front approaches, maybe getting some more um, radiational, excuse me, compressional heating. And uh, we will start to see a little bit of an uptick in clouds ahead of this front. And then as that front continues to move, sag southward with that um, hot and humid air mass that's going to develop, we could be seeing some afternoon showers and storms uh, pop up late in the afternoon or in the evening on Sunday. But right now, not looking terribly uh, likely. It does look like that front is going to wash out as it approaches our area. So right now, only looking about a 20% chance of seeing something pop up as we go into Sunday. We could still be seeing that front uh, drape across the region, even though it will be very weak with a limited forcing. So still going to be holding off a 20% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm Monday. Uh, so not still not looking very likely. Then as we go into Tuesday, we'll be seeing uh, more of some upper level energy get involved into the equation. And that's going to help to give us an uptick in our shower and thunderstorm chances. And as we go into Wednesday, we're going to see a little bit of an upper level low develop, which will carry some higher shower and thunderstorm chances for late next. So taking a look at our seven-day forecast, most of sunny day with a high of 87. Tomorrow, uh, we'll see the increased clouds, which will help to knock down the temperature a bit, only keeping it into the lower 80s with those chances of scattered showers and slight chance of a thunderstorm. And Friday and Saturday are going to be pretty hot out there, looking at uh, close to 90 degrees Friday and a partly cloudy sky. Saturday, we're going to get that uh, partly cloudy and hot with a high of 91 as that front approaches really going to be seeing some mild lows as we go Sunday morning through Tuesday morning, uh, seeing those temperatures near 90 degrees Sunday and Monday with chances of late afternoon or evening uh, thunderstorms popping up. And then Tuesday, starting to see a little bit of an upper level low de develop across the region. That's going to uptick our shower and thunderstorm chances a bit. Right now, going 40 percent, we'll see those temperatures knock down a bit with increased clouds, looking for a high of 82. That will do it for your daily weather briefing. Have a great day.